Canada's defense minister is vowing that this country will do everything it can to help the Ukrainian army defeat Russia's invasion. Anita Anand was in Hamilton today to visit a company making cameras for weapon systems being used against the Russians in Ukraine. And she came to our CHCH studios for an exclusive interview. Al Sweeney has this report. The defense minister was at CHCH this afternoon after visiting L3 Harris Westcam nearby in Waterdown, a high-tech company that makes drone cameras. Canada has sent 50 of those cameras to Ukraine and is providing six more so Ukrainian troops can take direct aim at Russian tanks and artillery. It allows the Ukrainian army to have precision with its shots. And Anne says Canada is doing what it can to give the Ukrainian government the weapons and technology it's asking for to fight the war and is determined to stand with NATO to oppose the Russian invasion. This is a threat to the rules-based international order that has kept us all safe since the end of the Second World War. Every day, Russian uh, soldiers are committing atrocities in an otherwise sovereign democratic country called Ukraine. And the response that the Ukrainian armed forces and the Ukrainian people as a whole have been able to provide has been inspiring. And Anand is optimistic of a Ukrainian victory. And you think Ukraine can eventually win? I do. But what if victory means Canada and NATO are drawn into a head-on war with Russia? And you think it can be done without a direct confrontation with Russia? Nobody knows what Vladimir Putin's next move will be. What we have to continue to do is to support Ukraine with military, economic and humanitarian aid. For now, the defense minister says only that if the Russian invasion spills over into a NATO country, Canada and NATO will defend every inch of NATO soil while giving Ukraine the weapons it needs to fight the Russians. We covered a number of other issues in our interview with the defense minister, such as Chinese aggression against Canadian warplanes and the demands for reform in the military. We'll have more on those stories later in the news. And now back to our CHCH exclusive interview with Defense Minister Anita Anand. Well, as well as vowing to help defend Ukraine against Russia, as you saw earlier in our news, as Al Sweeney reports, the minister is accusing China of putting the lives of Canadian flyers at risk over the Pacific after reports of Chinese fighter jets flying too close to Canadian Air Force planes. Dealing with this through diplomatic channels, and we do hope that it will not continue. The defense minister says the Canada-China confrontation that took place recently endangered Canadians. So there is a legitimate purpose for Canadian aviators to be in that region. When China and Chinese aircraft come so close to the RCAF operating in that region, it puts the lives of RCAF pilots at risk. The Canadian jets were on patrol to monitor United Nations sanctions against North Korea when they were buzzed by Chinese planes and had to swerve out of the way. These pilots had to divert their path in order to avoid collision. That is very dangerous and very difficult, especially when Canada is in the region, simply to enforce the UN uh, sanctions. The incident follows the high-profile detentions of Canadians by China and increased tensions between the two countries in recent years. For now, the defense minister says only that the mid-air confrontation is a diplomatic issue. The minister also commented on one of the toughest elements of her job recently, trying to reform the military in the wake of scandals over sexual assault and sexual misconduct. She says the military is a large institution and large-scale cultural change is needed. Institutional change, as a matter of fact, is difficult, and in the Canadian Armed Forces, where we have a culture that has been in existence where women suffer sexual harassment and sexual misconduct, those systems need to be uh, carefully ad 
looked at and changed, and that's exactly what we are doing. She says the government is implementing recommendations from a recent report into the scandal. On another topic, we asked Anand, as a federal cabinet minister, about the chaos we've been seeing at airports across the country. She says the public safety minister is looking at the possibility of eliminating the Arrive Can app, which many travelers have come to loathe. But she said it's up to the public safety minister to say anything more about that. For the full interview with an end, you can go to chch.com or our YouTube channel. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.